At first glance, Song of Solomon chapter 7 reads like an erotic book of bad Christian pickup lines. Your nose is as fine as the Tower of Lebanon, your head as majestic as Mount Carmel. This couple is real smooth. But the reality is, in chapter 7, we are invited into a deeply intimate and celebratory portrayal of love. The poetry here is rich with imagery, the beloved lavishing praises upon his lover, illustrating the beauty and passion of their relationship. The chapter opens in verse 1 with the man expressing his admiration for his beloved. It says, How beautiful are your sandaled feet, O queenly maiden! Your rounded thighs are like jewels, the work of a skilled craftsman. This admiration sets the tone for the entire chapter as each aspect of the woman's beauty is honored and exalted. The woman's response to her lover's praise is filled with invitation and desire. She's not passively, but actively engaging in the mutual celebration of their love. The language throughout the chapter is unashamedly sensual and vibrant, a testament to the strength and depth of their connection. As the couple delights in each other, we see a reflection of the deep joy that can be found in committed love. Their passion is like a dance, a give and take that is both deeply personal and beautiful. Verses 7 and 8 are a metaphor, lush and full of life, celebrating the physicality and, and intimacy of love. Although I may not be rushing to use any of these lines on my wife, there are definitely some solid lessons that all husbands could learn here on how we should love our wives. Because the beauty of chapter seven is not just in its poetic form, but also in its representation of love as something to be celebrated and cherished. It resonates with the kind of passion and commitment that is described in Ephesians 525, where it says that husbands are called to love their wives just as Christ has loved the church. As we immerse ourselves in the beauty of this chapter, let's remember the capacity for deep, intimate love that God has instilled in us. Whether we see this as an allegory of God's love for his people or as a celebration of marital bliss, may we embrace the beauty of love and its many facets and joy it can bring into our lives. Let the passion of Song of Solomon chapter seven inspire us to appreciate and nurture the intimate relationships in our own lives.